<laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> them sinuses, boy. <laughs> oh, y'all don't understand. Well, maybe y'all do understand, bro. Like, quarter five, bro. It felt like the day. It felt like it would never happen, bro. It felt like it would never happen, man. Don't cry. Don't cry. And, bro, like, I wasn't even, like, the intro. His mama's intro was beautiful um, because I could I could feel the authenticity of it. I gravitate towards that man, but that didn't make me cry. It almost did. But when that next track played with that X, and I heard X voice, and Wayne hit that line, he said he said he said uh, I hope uh, some if, if if heaven is as as beautiful as it said it is, and I hope put a triple X extension on my afterlife, rest in paradise. Ah, oh, nigga, I lost my shit, dog. I lost my shit, dog. You hear me? You seen a grown man? <laughs> You ever seen a grown man cry, dog? Like, I was crying, bro. And it wasn't, bro, it wasn't even just because of the song that made me cry, bro. It was just the fact that, bro, I'm a, I'm a diehard Wayne fan, bro. Wayne is the, bro, Wayne was my childhood, bro. Like, he was the first rapper I ever became just a stand over, bro. Like, 2007, that's how long I've been a Wayne fan. So that's about 11 years, bro. And I, people that know me personally know I'm a die-hard Wayne fan, bro. And me, I know how much it took for Wayne just to get to this point, bro. Wayne went through a lot, bro, just to be here. And I felt like this quarter five moment was just, was just, was just water in the rain, bro. I, I, I thought I was never gonna see it. it. It took a lot, bro, for him to get here, bro. And, and Throughout all these years, throughout the legal issues with Cash Money, baby, Wayne stood 10 toes the whole way, bro. He never, ever folded. Cause real niggas don't fold, bro. You just go through it, you survive it, and then you teach somebody else how to survive, but you just survive. And that's why Wayne is somebody that I have always looked up to ever since I was 13 years old, bro. He, he, he persevered, bruh. Like, persevered, like, despite everybody always saying he fall off, he washed. First of all, I knew he was never washed, bro. He had some years where he made some bad tracks, but I never knew he was washed. If you ever, if anybody ever went to watch, I mean, not watch, but listen to the Free Weezy album, y'all would know Wayne was still great. Cause the Free Weezy album is dope. I got that number two. I actually like this quarter five better than I like this quarter three. Quarter five for me, and I could just be biased because I just heard it last night, but Carter 5 is his number one album for me. Next is the Free Weezy album, and then after that it's Carter 3. But, but the impact that Carter 3 had on his career were probably, it's probably really no, number one no matter how you turn it because the impact that Carter 3 had on his career, that pretty much solidified his legacy. But anyways, bro, so Carter 5 dropped, bro, and I'm sitting up in the dark watching it like, bro, it felt like Christmas, dog. I felt like a, it, it, I got that same feeling I get when, I, when it was Christmas time, bro. Like, I was just sitting up in the dark, bro. Headphones on, sitting up in the dark, sitting in this chair right here. Just, 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 I was just losing my shit, bro, because it, it, these fire tracks that Don't Cry had me tweaking, that Let It Fly with Travis Scott had me tweaking, that Uproar, y'all know, y'all know that Uproar got that, that New York beat on there, that had me tweaking. It's just, it's 23 tracks. Out of all 23 tracks, it's probably two that I just thought was okay. All the, all the rest of them was fire. And you know what's crazy? You know what's amazing? This album is so great that my, that, bro, like, songs, everybody gonna have a different top five. That's how great this project is. Like, my top five may be completely different from somebody else's top five. Like, some people got Perfect Strangers in their top five. Some people got, some people got, you know, hitters in their top five. Like, them two ain't even in my top five, but other people still find those songs great because he got something for everybody on here, man. This was an experience, dog. This was a quarter five experience, bro. This wasn't just no album, bro. Like, bro, I cried, bro, because I knew, I knew how hard Wayne had to fight and persevere just to get to this point, bro. I'm, I'm so proud of Wayne, bro. I'm so proud of Wayne, bro. It took a lot for him to get here, bro. I'm so proud of Wayne for, for, for sticking through, for standing 10 toes and going through this shit to get what he had to, to, to accomplish what he had to accomplish, bro. Like, 
that shit stressing. My dog was losing hair and everything, bro. Like he was going through it with this with this label shit, bro. And he persevered, bro. He never folded, man. I cried like a little like a little baby, bro. Listening to it, man, because I love Wayne, bro. I love Wayne to death. Mama said God took his time when he made me. It took his time when he made me. But oh my God, that Mona Lisa, bro. I listened to the Mona Lisa one time, bro, and I couldn't listen to it no more tonight. Like, I listened to the whole album all the way through. And then I was going back through it, and I was like, I'm gonna just listen to a couple tracks. Um, back through it, and I couldn't even listen. I started Mona Lisa, and I couldn't even listen to it again because I was like, bro, this is just too much for me. This is just too much for me. The beat, godly Wayne is in prime God mode on this Mona Lisa track, bro. He telling a whole ass story out here, bro. A whole story that sounds like some script from a movie, dog. That's crazy, bro. And then on that last track, let it all work out, man. We get such a vulnerable, open Wayne, such a. Uh, just like I said, like a more vulnerable and open Wayne on this project, man. They let it all work out when he discusses shooting himself um, when he was 12. I never knew that it was a suicide attempt until he came out and said that um, recently. But I never knew that, bro. I never knew that. Like, imagine a world without Wayne, bro, if he had died at 12, bro. I would have been a completely different person. A lot of the thoughts and, and morals and principles that I have now would not be... I don't, if they were if they were still to be relevant, they wouldn't have been relevant because of Wayne, bro. Because a lot of a lot of my thinking processes come because of you know the things I don't heard Wayne say. A lot of artists that we see today, they style, they flow, they got from Wayne. Like a, Wayne changed a lot, bro. He number one, and no, no, and not, nobody else could tell me to convince me that Wayne not the greatest rapper of all time, bro. Because no, when you combine time, which is 25 years, when you combine time plus content, plus image. I don't think anybody meets all those criteria to the to the extent that Wayne does, bro. I really, really do not, bro. Wayne is the most influential artist in hip hop. That's just my opinion, bro. If we never get another Carter album, bro, thank you. Thank you, Wayne. I cried listening to this album, bro. I was so happy. Proud, proud, proud of Wayne, man. The God. I'm gonna have to listen to it again, bro. This is gonna be on repeat for, for, for in, indefinitely, bro. I gotta listen. I love that famous track of Regine. I didn't really know how, to, how that one was gonna sound, but that one was dope. The the Can't Be Broken, the Dark Side of the Moon with Nicki. Despite the Nicki slander, Nicki was singing her ass off on that album, bro. And y'all know it. The whole track just amazing, bro. A plus plus for my dog Wayne, man. For sure. <sighs> and that's just my take on it, man. Go! Goat, bro. Is there an animal more legendary than a goat? If so, we need to find out what it is, bro. Because that's what Wayne is, bro. That's really what he is. Guys, kings and queens, man. That's it for this reaction, man, on this Carter 5, bro. The longer way to Carter 5, man. If you like this content, subscribe, share. And as always, man, remember to love somebody and hug somebody. You're here today, you're gone today, man. I'm out.